Yo, what's up guys, Tim here. Welcome back to another Decant Boutique video. Today we have a review of a very popular fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent. This one is Y-E-D-P. Now before we jump right into the scent of this one, we're gonna go on for Grantica like we always do. So this one has the top notes of bergamot, ginger, and apple, mid notes of sage, juniper berry, and geranium, base notes of vetiver, cedarwood, amberwood, tonka bean, and olibanum. Now this one, this is a gem, a really nice compliment getter in the design world. This one actually surprised a lot of people when it came out how good it was, how much of an improvement it was over the EDT, which EDT is nice on its own, but it's lacking in a lot of areas, mainly the performance sections. It just doesn't last as long. It doesn't have enough of a projection to really you know, compete with all the other strong all-star designer fragrance out there. And as I'm, I'm, as I'm walking this around, I'm smelling it and it smells just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, sweetness. You get that apple right off the bat. The ginger in here adds a really nice kind of dense, spicy notes, a dense kind of deep spice. It's not like a dry, spicy, hot kind of spice ginger gives a really nice, like very unique type of tingly sensation, a tingly type of spice that is very just, again, unique to ginger and is very attractive. Alongside the apple, it's just a very nice combo. Now in the back, you do get those cleaner elements like vetiver is in here. The amber wood is in here as well. Now amber wood is just like a woodier version of ambroxan basically, and it really shines, it creates quite a bit of a cloud surrounding all the other notes. It's very noticeable and it complements the apple quite well. This is a really nice, well-rounded, sweet, clubbing, sweet nighttime type of scent that's very different from your general night out fragrance like Invictus, Invictus Aqua or One Million. Those have a kind of prominent Invictus DNA, that very kind of strong, scratchy, synthetic sweetness. This one does not have quite that level of scratchiness, that syntheticness, which is a very good thing in the designer fragrance. It's very quite a smooth type of sweetness. The apple in here really plays a really nice role. It just smells so good. It just blended so well for a designer fragrance, as at this level anyway. For a designer clubbing fragrance, this is quite a well blended one in comparison to the other ones that you can get on the market. Highly, highly enjoy this one. Now, who is this one for? I would say if you like Invictus, if you like Invictus Aqua, you like clubbing scent, you like sweet fragrance in general, you like a fresher take maybe to your sweet clubbing scent, this one is for you. So if you're one of those people who love these scents already, this one is absolutely a no brainer. This is a very, very nice pickup. Highly recommend you pick this one up. It just smells absolutely fantastic. So highly recommend you pick this one up or get a sample of it for yourself. Next, let's talk about the performance of this one. This one gets me mixed performance. Sometimes it lasts on my skin a very long time. Sometimes it lasts on my skin average. But overall, my experience with this one, it lasts around seven to nine hours, which is nice. Very, very, very nice. Sometimes it lasts past 10 hours. Sometimes it lasts six or seven. But overall, seven to nine hours is a very nice kind of average number, I guess, for the performance of this one. Projection is very, very nice. Like I said, it's a nighttime fragrance, a clubbing fragrance. You can definitely wear this in a crowd. You can wear it in a situation where you need that strong projection. This fragrance will deliver that for you. Now, is it beast mode? Borderline, but not quite there. So for your beast mode lovers out there, you might find this a little bit lacking, but I really don't think you would complain too much. Next is the versatility. I would say that this is a very versatile scent for the nighttime. It's not just a clubbing scent. It's not just a nights out type of scent. This is a very versatile fall and winter and springtime and even summer nights time fragrance for generally any occasion that you want to wear it because it just smells really nice, it has a freshness to it, has a sweetness, some fruitiness. It's really a fragrance that doesn't really lean towards one direction way too far that it can't be used in any other situation. So I would say this is a really nice signature scent for your nighttime wear in the summertime and for all day wear in other seasons. Now on to the price of this one and this one is gonna be pricey. I just know that already because why fragrances are never cheap. They're never, never cheap. Look, two ounce of this one is $74.95. And I'm looking around now, you really cannot find it 
any cheaper than that. 100 ml here goes for $83, 100 ml here is 82. It's a pricey beast of a fragrance. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth that price? For me, it's a little bit pricey, but it has a lot of usage. Plus, the compliment factor is huge with this one. You have quite a high compliment getting potential with this one, so for the price, you get the performance, the projection, the smell that is quite nice, the quality of the fragrance is quite nice. So for the price, I would say it's worth it, but it is a hefty price. So if you do not want to shell out that kind of money to buy this fragrance, you can try a decan of it over at decanboutique.com. We are a decan company. So links down below to our website, you can try a sample of this one at various different sizes from 1ml to 10ml to 30ml, really up to you. But you can try this fragrance at a cheaper price before you commit to a full bottle. All right, guys, that's it for this review today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another one. Peace and bye.